Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and it's time for another unboxing. Today we got in the portable SSD T7 Touch from Samsung. I paid for this with my own funds, incidentally, uh, so they are not paying for this unboxing, nor is anyone reviewing it or approving it before it gets uploaded. Uh, this is the latest portable solid state drive that they've come up with. They've been making these for a long time. They're one of the first manufacturers to do so. And this new version, they say, is faster and it incorporates a fingerprint sensor now for its encryption. And we're going to be doing a full review of this soon on my main channel at lon.tv. Uh, so this is what it looks like, very thin, very light. Uh, there's no moving parts in these, of course. Uh, they are super fast. There's a 500 gig version, which is what we have here. Uh, that sells at the moment for about 130 bucks. And then for $100 more, you can get the terabyte version. So they are a little more expensive than some of the other ones that you might be able to find out there now. There's a lot of choices for solid state drives. So let's see what we have for cables and stuff in the box here. So this is, oh, this is good. So this is a USB-C to USB-A connector because it does have a USB-C port here on the back. And what's nice about this is that they're not giving you some crazy out of spec adapter. So if you've got an older USB port you wanna plug it into, use this cable. And then, if you want to plug it into a USB-C device, you can use this one, which is a USB-C to C cable. Uh, one thing to note with this drive is that this supports USB 3.1 Gen 2, uh, so its theoretical maximum bandwidth is 10 gigabits per second. But as you'll see, you never get close to that uh, in real-world testing. But to get the best performance, you need to make sure the USB-C cable you're using supports Gen 2, Otherwise, you won't get the full performance. And that's the biggest confusion point, I think, with USB-C because all of these cables look the same, but they have different performance specifications. So this one, of course, is Gen 2 because it comes with it. But if you want to buy a longer cable, make sure you buy the right one. Otherwise, your performance will decline. And then in here, it looks like we've got the manual and the quick start guide. Uh, this will need some software if you want to use the fingerprint sensor. If you don't, then it'll just work like any other regular dumb hard drive. So stay tuned. We're going to have a full review of this soon on the main channel, again at lon.tv. We'll look at its performance, how the fingerprint sensor works, and a whole bunch of other stuff too. So stay tuned. More to come on this. This channel is brought to you by the lon.tv supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht. Rajesh, Logic GR, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.